program later tonight at 9.15. And you'll find an article on the series in the January edition of the BBC Wildlife magazine. Next week, our journey through the Atlantic takes us into the no-hiding-place world of whales, tuna, flying fish and marlin, the Gulf Stream and the Sargasso Sea. The Ocean of Light, next Sunday at 7.15. BBC One now opens the corporation doors in a special programme in which Sue Lawley invites you to see for yourself the BBC at work before putting Chairman Marmaduke Hussey and Director General Michael Checkland on the spot to face live comment and questions from viewers around the country. The frontiers of science are under examination in the new series of Horizon on Two, beginning with a project to read the Book of Man as biologists worldwide set out to decode the messages in human chromosomes. What we will have done when we have the Human Genome Initiative completed is we will have written out the Book of Life, and that'll be basically the hardware of how you construct a human being. The quest to decipher the Book of Man in Horizon, tomorrow at 8.10. Sunday evening on 2 continues now with a tour de force from Mel Brooks, who wrote, produced, and directed tonight's affectionate parody of Hitchcock, and also stars with Madeleine Kahn and Cloris Leachman as a psychiatrist with more problems than his patients in high anxiety. Before our next programme, we're going over to the newsroom for a news flash from Michael Burke. An airliner with 118 passengers on board has crashed on the M1 motorway in Leicestershire. It came down near Kegworth, junction 24 of the motorway, just short of the East Midlands Airport. Eyewitnesses say it was coming into the airport with an engine on fire when it crashed into a motorway embankment. The aircraft's a British Midland DC-9, which was en route from Heathrow to Belfast before reporting engine trouble, and the captain asked to make an emergency landing at East Midlands Airport. There are reports of fatalities and of survivors, but no details about the casualties yet. 30 ambulances have been sent to the scene of the crash. A short while ago, an eyewitness described what happened. A lot of noise, uh, as if it was a backfire. Flames coming out of the port engine, very much nose up and wing down on the port side, as if he was struggling for height. Uh, on the final approach, he got very close. Uh, they go out of sight just as they come into the final approach from where our, from my house is situated. And at that point, uh, is the, the noise was very much curtailed. Normally, we hear the noise continue for a little longer, and then we hear the reverse thrust, and you know that the plane is down on the runway. This didn't occur. Uh, 